Hello everybody. Welcome to Burn to Learn. This is Rod Davis. Do you know how to make a contact on Outlook 2016? We're going to teach you how to do that right now in this video. First, we need to know the different options for finding the buttons and getting to your contact page. So first, go up and click on New Items. And you can see in the drop-down box there are several options, one of which is contact. But there is a shortcut for getting to the contacts page, and that's scrolling down to the bottom and clicking on the people. When you do that, you are immediately there. That's a very simple shortcut means of accessing the page for making a contact. Okay, so now to proceed, we need to scroll up and click the new contact tab. And let's take a few minutes to review what you are looking at. It's organized into six sections. It begins with the name section. It then goes to the web contact section, the phone information section, the location or your physical address where you are, as well as the business card section, and notes where you can put down the things you want to remember about this contact. So now let's make a contact. Let's begin by filling in the full name information. We're going to put in my name. Rodney J. Davis. You notice how the name appears over on the right immediately? Now let's put in company information, and in this case, the company's name is Burn to Learn. Now let's find out what the job title is of our contact, and the title is Manager. And you can also click the picture, and when you click it, you then have a chance to attach an image. Now, if you don't know how to attach an image, you can go back to our video tutorial number five, where we go in depth on exactly what you need to do to know what to, how to attach an image. OK, so now let's click OK. The image appears both in the picture block as well as on the right. Now let's move to the internet section of information, beginning with email. You obviously can put in your primary email, but if you click the down arrow, you can see you can select different emails if you had different email accounts. We're going to put in for our email, burn to learn. training.gmail.com okay and it automatically displays as that email address and you'll see that it also appears over in on the right in our business card now let's move to the web page address what kind of information do you think you would put here well you could put in your uh, Facebook account. You could put in LinkedIn or YouTube. Many people feel they don't have an account, but that's because they haven't thought of them all. We're going to put in burntolearn.com. And now for the IM address. There are several things you may put here. You could put your Skype here, your instant messenger, or your FaceTime addresses. We're going to put in we're going to put in burn to learn training at gmail.com. Now let's move to the phone numbers section. Here you can put in all of your, your phone contacts from business, home, business facts, mobile numbers, 
Let's click on the down arrow of the business section and look at all the options there. You're going to choose amongst all these as an assistant, uh, as a home business, as a mobile business. We're going to choose primary. Now we're going to put our number in, but please don't call it, it doesn't work. Okay, let's go to the home number. Again, it's a fake. You see how that primary numbers have appeared over on the right on the business card? Now let's, let's fill in the rest of this information. You don't have to fill all of them in, but let's just, let's do one more at least. This is our business fax number. Again, it's fake. And that's how you fill in this information on all of your contacts. Now let's complete the addresses portion of this, this data. You notice there's the business address, but if you click on that down arrow, you have some options. You can put your business address, your home address, or some other address. Let's, uh, let's do our business address. Notice you can click on the box that says this is the mailing address we use. That way now your contacts know that as well. So let's put in our address. And this is fun. This, this is exciting. When we put our address in, I want you to pay particular attention of what happens. We can click on the Map It button, and it takes us to Maps and looks for the address we typed in. You can just put all the correct information you need, including the country you're in. In this case, by clicking the down arrow, we could change it to wherever. But we're going to leave it as United States of America. And when we click OK, they can see exactly where you are located. That's a very cool feature. Notice the business card on the upper right of your screen. This contains all the information we put in the data information blocks. As you can see, the full name is there, the company name is there, title, telephone numbers, and email addresses. It also contains the actual physical address, which we were able to find even on the map. Okay, so now Let's scroll down and put a note or two on what we want to remember about this contact. We're going to put in that this is a new client. Our next step is to save, delete, or go to another contact. So these are the options. You can hit either one of these buttons and it does what it says. In this case, let's save and close it. And when we go now to our My Contacts page, the contact we created is there. Picture, information, everything. So there you have it. It's very, very easy to do. You can now organize all the contacts that you have including all the information that you you have on them. Okay, now you know how to make a contact on Outlook 2016.